So I have promised you guys that I was gonna give you a detailed should you, should you not watch the movies, the Christmas movies on Netflix. For the last few weeks, few months, whatever, shoot, I watched some of these last year. I've kind of been like stocking up my Netflix Christmas movies bank so that I can give you guys an honest review. Should you pass it? Should you binge it? I got it all. So we're gonna jump right on in. I am very excited because there are a lot of really good movies on Netflix for Christmas this year. And I think that a lot of you maybe are a little hesitant to watch them. I love holiday movies and Christmas is definitely at the top of my list. I love Halloween movies too, but there's just something about the magical Christmas movies that I just love. So, go ahead, get yourself a drink, preferably hot chocolate. I made me a nice little warm, actually it's kind of hot, it's very hot. We're gonna put it back over here and let it cool off. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead and jump on into the list. Speaking of magical things, I know you're gonna ask me about my sweatshirt that I have on. It's from United Monograms and it says, I just wanna drink hot chocolate and watch Christmas movies. And it has my monogram here on the little hot chocolate mug. It is super cute and it's super cozy. So I thought it was perfect for today's video. And the first one we are gonna be talking about is Christmas with a View. This was the one that I watched this year and I was like, I really need to tell people about these movies. So maybe they won't waste their time and watch them and I could be watching one of the good ones. I'm pretty sure one of the main reasons that I love Christmas movies is because I feel like they all have a message. There's like love or some kind of like family thing that they figured out and now they're all back together. There's always just some like really good happy ending to all the Christmas movies and I just love that. I'm definitely not going to give it away because I want you guys to see it but it is a restaurant manager and this really good looking chef that comes to work at this restaurant. I swear they always pick the best looking people to play in these Christmas movies. And this one is no exception. Like I said, all these movies have some kind of lovey-dovey something in them. This one, obviously, also falls under that category. But it was really cute. And I think it had a nice little message. And the guy that plays the chef in this movie has like this little hidden past that you'll figure out as the movie goes on. But I actually think that you guys will enjoy this one. I would definitely say to watch it and not to pass that one this year. This next one is called Dear Santa. And I watched this one last year, but I definitely remember all of the really sweet moments in this one. I thought it was very good. It's about a little girl that mails a letter to Santa so that her daddy can get a wife. For Christmas so that she can have a new mommy for Christmas it was so sweet and the letter gets sent to this lady and she tries so hard to make sure that this little girl gets her Christmas wish that year and it's just a really really sweet movie and I definitely think that you guys will enjoy that one for sure here's another one that I watched last year the spirit of Christmas I was a little iffy about this one at first I'm not gonna lie but once I got into it of course another very handsome gentleman plays in this movie and it's about a lawyer that is going to to pretty much like oversee the sailing of a house. So she's going to, I think it's Vermont or somewhere where she's going, somewhere gorgeous. They always pick the most gorgeous wintry scenes for these movies. So she goes over to this because they're like, I think it was like foreclosed or something. So she's traveling there to make sure that everything goes well. And she gets the surprise of a lifetime once she gets there. And of course, another lovey dovey movie, but I know you guys will enjoy this one because it has a twist compared to like some other Christmas movies. So I would definitely recommend watching that one. The Holiday Calendar was new on Netflix this year. And as soon as I seen the little trailer for it, I knew it was gonna be so cute, so good. I've already watched it a couple times and I've seen you guys message me on Instagram that I need to watch it. I had already watched it y'all because I just, I knew as soon as, like I said, I knew when I seen that trailer it was gonna be so good. And it was, it did not disappoint. It is just so cute once again handsome fella and the storyline of it is really neat her grandpa gives her this big like advent calendar and each day there's a new little like figurine piece inside it and every time she sees one of those figurine pieces something happens in her day that corresponds with that piece that she got another lovey dovey christmas movie like you kind of know what's going to happen before it even happens you know but it doesn't make you stop watching it. Like I said, I've already watched it a couple times and y'all will love it. Christmas Inheritance. Me and my husband watched this one together. Some I've watched alone and some I've watched with him. And we both really enjoyed this one. I feel like all of the ones I kind of didn't enjoy, I think I stuck at the end of the list. I think. You'll have to wait and see. But this one was very, very good. So the movie is all based on this rich girl who's going to inherit her family's company. So 
the company that her dad started is like this really huge company now and she's sort of been known as a party girl so she's trying to like prove herself that she can take on this huge like multi-million dollar company he gives her this task that she has to travel to this town once again beautiful wintry magical looking town she travels to this town and she has to prove herself by doing this one task that he asked her and she of course meets somebody there while she's there and all the magical sweet wonderful things happen and you're gonna love it just go watch it it's really really good a christmas prince and i had no idea they were put in two movies so i want to say a christmas prince came on last year and, and then they added the second one which we'll get to that one obviously you already know it's got royalty so it's dealing with royalty you see prince and you know obviously it's going to be dealing with something i feel like those are some of my favorite movies the ones that have like the kings and queens like old school like princess diaries and all of that so i think that i just love those because of that because I just love like the idea of like the whole royal family and everything not that I would ever want that for me but I just like the to thought the thought of it I think it's nice but she is a journalist and she's going to this kingdom place to get a really good juicy story and when she gets there she finds out that pretty much like they're not taking any journalists no reporters are not allowing anything no stories are going to be leaked because the prince is supposed to be taking the king's position so it's going to be the king now and they want to write you know news about it but they're not letting anybody in she sneaks around the castle and then somebody finds her and she ends up being like the tutor for the prince's little sister and she obviously she was not the tutor for the prince's little sister but that's how she gets like her in so she can sort of like spy and get some information but it turns out to be really cute another love story I know y'all are gonna love it and the next one is a Christmas Prince royal wedding so this is the second part of that first one you got to watch the first one though so go ahead and watch that first one that I just talked about and then watch this one I think it'll be great binge worthy like weekend kind of thing you get your snacks some cookies hot chocolate cuddle up on the couch and watch these back to back I think they're both very good I always feel like the first one is better than the second one and I mean, maybe it is a little bit in this case, but I think they're both definitely worth a watch. And I don't want to give the second one away because that will give the first one away. But just know that they're both really good and you should watch them. Next up is A Grinch Stole Christmas or How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How is it? Did you say, is it how? Hey, I don't know. Obviously, I mean, this is not, if y'all haven't seen this by now, I don't know what you're waiting for. I watch The Grinch every single year when i'm decorating every year i turn it on and i watch it when we go to my parents house and i help my mama decorate i turn it on and i watch it again and i laugh and i sing and i mock them the entire time the movie's on it is one of my favorite all-time christmas movies i love the fact that it's on netflix and anybody can watch it but it's really really good the humor in it gets me every time y'all i don't care how many times i've watched it we're not going to talk about that one anymore though because if y'all have not seen it yet I just I just don't know I don't know what to think about you I think my hot chocolatey goodness is finally cooled off enough where I can actually enjoy it myself <laughs> late mm. all righty here's the next one this one is called Merry Christmas and I think that maybe I would pass I mean if you just want to turn on the festive movie maybe like to play in the background while you're getting your holiday bacon on then maybe that will be this it wasn't all that great I'm gonna be honest with you I didn't think the storyline was all that wonderful it was just I don't know I know that everybody loves a good Hallmark Christmas movie we don't have like regular cable or anything so it's not like I'm sitting down watching Hallmark Christmas movies I couldn't tell you what a Hallmark Christmas movie was I'm assuming this is like a Hallmark Christmas movie. This just didn't do it for me. It was kind of like the actors and actresses that they picked out were just kind of lackluster. <laughs> like I could have played a better role than some of them did. Pretty much the star of the movie, she is engaged to this like famous choreographer kind of guy who's kind of a butthole to be totally honest. She's engaged to him. He's not a very good actor, but he's a douchebag in the movie so i guess maybe he's playing his part well i don't know and she then meets this guy who is single and they kiss in in the thing in the elevator and yeah i don't i don't know i can't really explain
enjoyed that one. Maybe watch it. If you've watched it and you got some thoughts on it, comment down below and let me know what you thought. Like I said, I think I might would pass on that one this year and all the years. <laughs> This next one just came out this year and it's so, so good. The Princess Switch, y'all, it is so good. I would say that it was better than the holiday calendar. I have to be honest, I really, really loved it. I love Vanessa Hudgens, I think that's her name. If it's not, then I must not really love her all that much. But I thought it was a wonderful, wonderful movie. Super cute. This girl that is destined to be the new queen or princess or whatever, um, she wants to be normal for like a couple days and she runs into this girl that looks identical to her and she asks if she'd like to switch roles, switch lives with her, and they do. And then of course, Things get a little difficult. Some things happen, but it is so cute. So like all the holiday things you've ever wanted in life. That's what this movie is. It's very good. Netflix did a wonderful job with this one. Okay, so the next one is called The Star. This is not a Netflix original. Netflix didn't do this one, but y'all. I knew, I knew when I seen the trailers, the commercials for this, that it was going to be everything. I cried, it's, it is just, it is so beautiful. It is the story of Jesus, but it's based on like the animal's point of view. It is so creative. I don't know who came up with like the concept of this movie, but it is so adorable. It's also teaching kids if you know kids are watching it because it is like the cartoon version. So I feel like it's more, it's easier to be watched by kids. They're gonna be able to watch it and not, you know, feel like, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm gonna be able to learn something from it and know that Jesus came and he's the real true reason for the season and it's just so cute. Y'all, every time I've watched this movie, I cry. It is just so adorable when all of the animals are in there looking at baby Jesus and the donkey's just like, when he realized that he carried a king, like that moment, Y'all, I cry like a baby every time because that is just so like amazing to me that you are like on a different path and you feel so defeated and that things just aren't panning out for you, but God's like, stay on this path. This is gonna be okay, do what's right. He didn't necessarily, th I'm pretty sure that the donkey didn't think, his name's Bo, but pretty sure that Bo didn't think that by carrying Mary that that would like really end up being something big. He did it out of the love of his heart because he loved Mary and he was worried about her and he knew that she needed his help and then after all that God provided for him and he got what he wanted which was to you know be to do something big and he got to he got to carry Jesus and that was so oh it is so good it is so good for adults for kids it's just so so cute there's some really good like giggly moments in it but like I said I cry so but I'm a very emotional person but y'all have to watch that one if you hadn't already this next one is how Sarah got her wings and I'm on the fence about this one, being honest. I really, really didn't know. I don't know, maybe I do like it, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> this was one of the ones that I most recently watched. What happens is Sarah, of course, main character, how she's gonna get her wings, Sarah dies. So that's pretty much how it starts off, Sarah dies and she's trying to figure out how to get her wings so that she can get into heaven, pretty much, is what it's all about. So she's trying to get her name on that list, but let's be realistic here, y'all. It don't happen like that. If your name ain't already on the list, you don't get to go back and get another chance. You better live your best life while you're here before the Lord takes you, because when the Lord takes you, you ain't gonna get another chance, but mic drop. Sarah has to go and get her wings. So the little assistant, whatever, secretary, front desk lady, tells her, okay, you got to go back and get some unfinished business. You got to figure out what you did wrong or what you didn't do so that you can get your name on the list. That's pretty much what the movie is all about. I mean, there's some cute spots in it. You know, she's trying to figure things out and you know, things kind of turn around in the end. So I wouldn't say necessarily to pass it. Um, I definitely would suggest watching it, but I don't know if I'd put it at the top of the list. Mm, no, I definitely wouldn't put it up at the top of the list. The Christmas Chronicles. Y'all, when I seen them, advertising that on Netflix. I added it to my list before it was even on there. I was so ready for Thanksgiving to get here because that's when they finally released it and it did not disappoint. They picked the best man to play Santa Claus. I have never in my life seen like any, I mean, Tim Allen, it's, I mean, he will always be the Santa Claus. Like, I don't care what nobody says, that's him. But 
Kurt Russell, ain't that his name? Y'all, I still get remember people's names. But he was so like, like debonair and just cool. And he played his role so well. And every, all the other actors and actresses that they chose were phenomenal. They did such a good job, y'all. Netflix has been killing it with the Christmas movies. All of their Christmas movies that they have done have been wonderful. I don't have anything bad to say about those. Now, I don't think all of them are on this list because I haven't had a chance to watch all of them. But just know that that one is at the top. Hands down at the top. It was real good. Okay, the next one is called A Holiday Engagement. And I watched this one last year. And I kind of like watched through it again this year to refresh my memory because I kind of forgot about it. Which kind of tells you that it didn't leave a lasting impression on me. And that's fine. Like I said, not all of them are going to be fantastic. And somebody might actually have loved this one. We don't all have the same taste or opinions. And that's what makes us so wonderful that we don't all think the same. But this one is she's hiring a guy to take home for the holidays. She's single, I think, I can't remember, but she's having to hire somebody to take along with her so that her family won't be like, you know, we're sure, are you ever going to get married and blah, blah, blah. So she hires this guy and it like backfires on her. I mean, it was pretty good. It just really didn't leave a lasting impression. So it wasn't all that great. Wouldn't put it up there at the top, but you know. And the last one on my list is Christmas Wedding Planner. This was a last minute decision. I threw it on there just a couple days ago and I watched it and I was highly disappointed. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. It was not one of my favorites at all. I would probably pass on this one. It was just sort of lackluster. I mean, I don't know. It was all the things that happened were expected. I didn't feel like, you know, like when they have like that big moment, you're like, oh, like I didn't think that was coming. Like, no, it was all expected in the most underwhelming way. The people that they picked to play the parts were underwhelming. Some good looking guys, though. I mean, all these movie Christmas movies have good looking guys in them. That's a given. But other than that, it was just really underwhelming. It just wasn't all that great. So if you don't want to waste your time, I would not watch that one. It just wasn't all that great, guys. Comment down below and let me know what one of your favorite movies was that I did not mention in this list. So give me some recommendations down below, some other ones that I missed. And next year, I'm hoping to have an even bigger list of movies to go through, like 20 ish because this was 15 this year so i was trying to make sure that i did most of the hard work for you even though it's not really hard work watching a movie but you know in my head hard work hustle hard hard work <laughs> I hope y'all took something from this, maybe added some more movies to watch to your list. And if you did watch some of these, what did you think about it? Is any of the ones that I mentioned on your favorite like top list for like Christmas movies now? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 4. Bye guys. Lady, Rosie just won't let us be great, will she? She won't. She just keeps standing at the door. Can you tell her this is mama and lady time? Can you tell her? You can go tell her. It'll be okay. She's supposed to be having daddy and rosy time. We'll never get time to ourselves like this. Girl, you crazy if you think I'm sharing my hot chocolate with you. You lost your whole mind.